Hey friends, I'm Frederik, and today we're going to look at Twig and we're going to add some controllers to our framework. So hey, welcome back to uh, creating a PHP framework. Uh, first thing I want to say is I've bought a new mic because I had some uh, critique on the sound system and the, the sound quality. So that should be improved now. Uh, please let me know if it isn't, but I hope it is. Uh, today's going to be a sh bit of a shorter episode. I know I say that all the time, but today I'm hoping it's actually going to be one because we're just going to look at uh, including Twig and some controllers to our system, which should be kind of straightforward. First of all, you probably want to know what Twig is. Twig is what we call a templating engine. All big frameworks, be it Symfony, Laravel, Zend, or, or the millions of others out there, all tend to use these uh, templating engines like Twig. So a templating engine is a small scripting language that you can easily include in your project and it handles the front-end interaction with your code. So where we would, uh, in the past, use, use inline PHP, uh, these, these languages stepped in and created a better alternative. They tend to help you with things like code escaping and normalization and creating easily forms and stuff. So it's, I think it's pretty handy and I think we should really include it in our system. There are obviously alternatives out there. There isn't uh, just Twig. There's also things like Smarty or Blade for the Laravel people. You might be familiar with that one. These languages tend to be very uh, uniform in their, their, their usage. They have some minor differences, but mostly they're kind of the same. So today we're going to look at a Twig, obviously, which is, I think, the, the better of them all. Uh, okay, so let's start and include some uh, Twig to our project. So this is where I left you off. Uh, we had uh, the, the, the front page here with the Haya. Uh, this is the, the index file with the routes here. We have the Haya and stuff. So um, what we're going to do now is, is create, uh, is, is add Twig to our project. So like usually here, we started the PHP server with PHP capital S uh, in our public folder. That's very important. So I'm not going to create a new tab again, like usual. Sorry, it takes a while. Um, so here we are, this is the base of the application. And like usual, we're going to composer add it. So composer, we have that installed, everything works here. Composer, require, um, oh, sorry, twig, twig. Oh, sorry, sorry, mistyped. Uh, maybe a bit more uh, background around twig. Is, twig is a uh, thing made by the people of Symfony and it started its live out in, in the Symfony uh, ecosystem. So some extra information there. So uh, it's installed. Right now, as you can see, the Symphony stuff. And the first thing we want to do is uh, add it to, to our, uh, our container. So we still have that config file here. Here we uh, set up the request and response. We're just going to add below that. Here we have some Twig to the system. Um, it's very easy. So Twig has this uh, Twig environment. And that's the one we, we're going to pass around and use for the entire system. So we want to uh, link that class. Every time we, we inject it somewhere, it's going to look at uh, this, this container and, and figure it out what it needs to have. So again, we're going to add an uh, anonymous function here. Um, we're going to add a loader. And that's the new twig underscore loader file system. Oh. Now, um, this loader is going to look in your project for where it can find its, its views. So where it should uh, look for uh, twig files and uh, include its magic in there. So again, we're going to link it to a map we have. 
So you're kind of familiar with the deer stuff. Uh, up. And we're going to create in our root folder a views map. Views is where all our front end stuff is going to live, our templating. So uh, once we have that included, we can easily return, oh, not in the capital, return the new twig environment. So that's the one we, we always want. That's the same as this one, uh, twig environment. And that environment is going to take that loader as a parameter. Okay, so that's done. Uh, now we obviously need to uh, create that, uh, that uh, location. So here in the root, we're just going to create a new map. Call it views, new views. Uh, I'll probably add the first template now. We're just going to create a new file. Here, let's call it uh, home.twig. Here, it's an empty file. Can I just add some HTML here? Yeah, I know this isn't really compliant HTML, but it's just for example sake. And we're just going to say, um, hey, and then this is a, kind of a syntax of Twig. If you want to echo something out, normally in PHP, you would do something like this, old school PHP. And then, um, Echo name or no, sorry, um, echo name, which is not that super readable and, and, and not that nice. So it's also very handy for uh, your front end developers who aren't very familiar with PHP. They can just easily do stuff like this name, and that, that would be the same as the previous uh, code example. So we have that in place. This is obviously isn't going to work at the moment because we're not going to uh, reference it at the moment. And also uh, we haven't got a name included with our eventual uh, reference. So we want to now update the roots. Here we have that root. This is the, the root we used uh, in the previous one. This is just the base root. And now we're going to actually uh, delve into how to create these, uh, these linked roots to controllers. So we create, uh, again, the root file. And from this root file, we now do a, a HTTP verb, in this case, get, because we want to get uh, a location. And here we're just going to go, um, hello, and then the name. Uh, I know this is kind of a classy, <laughs> classic uh, example. Uh, things to note here, this uh, apprentices, this isn't uh, Twig related at all. This is just uh, the router we're using. Uh, everything in here is a variable. So that will be passed on to our controller or in this function here. Uh, we're not going to link to a function this time. We're going to add uh, to a greetings controller. Yeah, greetings controller. Uh, just reference that class. Uh, and we're also going to um, link it to the class, it's, uh, to a function inside of that class, and that would be the index. So, and that's everything you need to know how to create a, a link to, to a controller. Uh, we're using controllers at the moment. Normally, I would be more into using handlers because I think uh, a single action per handler file is a bit cleaner, and it also doesn't have the connotation of uh, only accepting HTTP and you can reuse them for other things. But because we're keeping it very simple today, we're just going to use some controllers and that's so a base framework -y thing. Uh, before we're actually going to create that greetings controller, because we still don't have it at the moment, we're going to create a base controller. And this base controller will be used to um, give some extra logic and some extra in incentive into using uh, the controller. So you take some, some logic out of that controller and reuse them in a base controller. So every other controller can just extend on that, inherit that base controller and work from there. So um, in the source folder, we're going to create a new map. We're going to call it HTTP because I like to um, keep my, my, my controllers and HTTP stuff separated in an HTTP map. It's a bit like, uh, I think Laravel does that as well. Here we're going to add a controllers map. So that's where our controllers is going to live. 
and we're just going to start out with uh, the base controller. Uh, as you can see now, uh, I no longer have these extra white spaces. Some very kind soul commented on the previous video where I can fix that. So thank you so much for, for helping me. You're saving me a lot of time here. Uh, here we're going to add a constructor. Construct and in that constructor, we're going to reference that Twig environment. So, um, just going to call it Twig, import it, and uh, initialize it. So, here we have this Twig uh, environment, and this is a beautiful example of, of dependency injection from our container. So, this Twig environment is the same as this Twig environment, but because we're injecting it. Everything that's happening here, so linking that directory folder to the loader and then that loader creating a new environment, that's already been done here. So we don't have to worry about setting up the application here. We're just going to reference it from container over our entire application and everything will work. So we have now Twig fully configured. Uh, let's now public function render. This is a small render function we're going to uh, use in our uh, font controllers. It will take the response interface. Yep, that one. Let's just call it response. It's also going to ask for the view, so the template. And we're also going to add for uh, some arguments. So what are we going to do with this? We're going to take that response. We've done this before get body and then um, write and here we're just going to in that body the writing so that's, that's the response of what we're going to send back we're going to this twig so that twig, that twig file and we're going to render that so we're going to render in this case this home file and in that render we're going to reference the view this is the name of the view we're going to re reference in that uh, views folder. So here, in uh, our case later, this will be home. And we're just going to add dot twig to it. So we know we're referencing f actually home dot twig. And we're going to pass along the arguments um, needed. So here are the arguments, and in our case, that would be uh, an array with at least one key containing name. So that's what we're going to do with the response. And then that response, we're just going to return. So return response. Yeah, I know I can just return this, but I think this is a tiny bit uh, cleaner. Okay, we have this now. Great. Uh, the next thing we want to do is create uh, the actual greetings controller which we're referencing here in this root this greetings controller let's copy paste that new so here we have the greetings controller itself and that greetings controller is just going to have that public index function public function index uh, like usual it's going to get a server request interface but which is the request. It's also going to uh, response interface, which is obviously the response. And now it's also going to get some arguments. Let's call them arguments because you shouldn't do uh, these shorthand things. Might be a bit long, so let's split them up over lines. Nope. Um, okay. And what we're just going to do here now, we're going to take these arguments, which as you remember here in the root, is that name. Um, and we're just going to pass it to our parent, which we haven't included yet. <laughs> nice catch. Extends the base controller. And now we have included that base controller, and now we have access to this things. So we're going to ask this renderer. And this renderer takes, as we uh, set up before, the response. So response. Um, 
we're going to link it to our home, which is this file, the home, and we're going to pass along the arguments. So I'm just going to add um, the response interface as a return. It's not really needed, but so that's nice. Okay, let's uh, let's see if it works. So the application itself works still as as before. Now let's go to that URL we defined, which was, if I'm not mistaken, so hello. And then uh, let's add someone. So let's add me because that's how I roll. And we have a beautiful um, uh, error. And that's because we haven't included the root itself. So here, this greetings controller, we still need to include it. My bad. And here we have, hey, Frederick. So that worked. Now, if we want to say, uh, hey, Tim, it's going to add to Tim. So here. In this greeting controller itself, the arguments, if we die and uh, print argum, uh, arguments, here we can see we just get an array inside with the name Tim. This is that Tim. And that name is this name. So yeah, it's, uh, it's as simple as that. Uh, that's uh, how it goes. It's just adding Twig is really simple. It's it's really big improvement to your your framework you want to use. So I would definitely advise using it. Uh, we're probably again way over time. Sorry about that, but yeah, that's how it goes. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. And uh, the next episode will probably cover uh, database connections, maybe some doctrine. We'll see. That will probably be an even longer episode. So yeah, get hooked by that. So. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.